Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom here. Um, I had the 3D printers, two Prusa printers sitting here and it was creating a lot of heat. Um, and also, you know, all that fumes that it gives off, you don't know where it's going. Uh, but I placed them in my closet space here. I put a little LED. Uh, this is much better spot because you don't have any wind draft. And also I've got second one over here. Oh, they're all connected via uh, the little, what are those things called? Shoot, it's too early. Anyway, I got them all connected on the internet. Um, I can check them on, on the internet. I can upload my files sorry, through Octopi, Raspberry Pi, that's what it was. Uh, this is much better space, especially if you're trying to utilize um, the whole the whole thing. You, you want sort of an enclosed location. Um, you do want to get, you know, I leave it open a little bit just because of the, the AC lines here, power lines, which is fine. Um, there's no draft coming in through here, really, once it's, it's inside. So I do recommend installing them in your closet space. <laughs> that way they're sort of, you know, out of the way, you can't hear them. Also, you got a nice enclosed space. Um, you don't have any drafts, um, so you don't have to worry about warping. Also, all the fumes and stuff, it stays inside the closet. Maybe some of it falls out, but you know, at least I've minimized the damage. Um, I've got more closet space over here that I'm gonna go ahead, I can put more. There's more space for maybe another one. Uh, maybe, maybe a few more. I got more closet space back there too. Um, so, yeah, putting your 3D printer in a closet could be a great idea. <laughs> I've got another one over here inside my laundry room by the kitchen. Yes, they have laundry room by the kitchen in Korea here. I've got another one here that's doing really well. This is a really nice space. It's got a little, um, you know, those things that pick up air. Sorry, I've just been living in Korea too long, forgetting my English. Uh, printing out some smartphone stands here uh, that I, I designed. Actually, I'll give you a look over here. Uh, this is for like a Z Fold 4. It's extra thick, so it's very stable. Um, I really like it. That This was the original model, but it's sort of unstable for larger phones. Absolute original one I made was <laughs> this terrible one. It actually works pretty good. And I made it a little bit longer, bigger. <laughs> Just scribbled. <laughs> and then and then the this one I actually um, use a photo of my cat Birdie. His name's Birdie. And I, I I traced it and then I added some longer thirings here. Because you know, like the smaller smartphone stands, you have to sort of angle it down, and you're looking down, and your neck hurts. So I made it for my daughter. So you don't have to angle it so much. It's sort of better viewing angle. I'm also, you, you know, this this is a cool design because it's like people don't know it's a smartphone stand. It just looks like a piece of art. And then you can put your smartphone there. Pretty cool stuff. Um, anyway, just giving you a uh, tour of my closet 3D printers. Have a great day.